Hello and welcome Lockdown Defenders. This is Coach Mike and today we are breaking down first team all defensive player Herb Jones and how with just three years into his NBA career he's already one of the best defenders in the league and using techniques we've not yet covered on this channel. Let's dive in. Man, oh man, what a defensive this defense. Wow. First, let's take a look at his footwork and stance. Herb Jones is primarily a cushion slide defender, similar to the likes of Iguodala and Kawhi Leonard. These players never give up anything easy because they're always in between the ball and the basket. All three of them also utilize the upward stance using very little knee bend and instead using their length and ability to stay in front. Also take notice that these defenders never open up their hips. Herb is always square, chest to chest with the offensive player. Because of this, he is always in legal guarding position, which means he can draw on ball charges, something Scotty Pippen has excelled at. Another upward stance defender. Lastly, on the topic of footwork, we should look closer at Herb Jones's feet because they are showing us something critical for elite defenders. He is never on his heels. Even when pushing backwards, all his force is being generated on the balls of his feet. This is the ideal force point for the foot and allows Herb to be explosive in containment, on balance for counter movements, and never flat footed. This is one of the most important movement mechanics of lockdown defenders and developing defenders in general. And if you want to take your defense to the next level, you'll want to sign up for the latest updates on our newest program, the Lockdown Academy, a player-focused online training program designed to transform your defensive ability with workouts, drills, techniques, tips, tricks, and more. Be one of the first to join the Lockdown Academy. To find out more, click the link in the bio. Coming soon, late June. Now let's get back to the breakdown because there are two techniques that take containment to the next level. The ability to force tough finishes and your ability to generate turnovers. First, let's dive into the finishing with a crucial technique called walling up. The first key is winning the line of attack, something offensive players are taught well. But for defense, we need to win this line as well. Riding and steering the offensive player away from their line to the rim. The second key is to use your chest and show your arms vertically, making a wall for the offensive player. Now you shouldn't be looking to block shots at this point, but to force fading away tough finishes. On Twitter, I recently released a video showing the difference between soft walls, fading backwards and losing contact, versus strong walls, maintaining that physicality. Notice that when an offensive player comes to two feet, you should stay body to body and not get out of position going for the ball. Again, our goal is to not give up anything easy to the offensive player, a defining trait of lockdown defenders. But we also need to make plays, and Herb Jones certainly forces plenty of turnovers. His favorite concept, the swipe steal. This is a concept that pairs perfectly with cushion slide defenders. Since Herb Jones is always in front of or near the offensive players gather, he is in great position to swipe down at the ball. And most offensive players will expose their gather all the time, even at the highest levels. And again, we're not looking to pick up silly fouls. We want to swipe at the edge of the ball to avoid going across their arms, giving them an N1, or just giving them two foul shots. And many times the swipe steal will ricochet off the opponent's leg, resulting in a turnover. This is a technique we've seen used with other great defenders, primarily Iguodala, Kyle Lowry, and many others. But with Herb Jones' length, he's also a threat vertically around the rim. Now his height and length allow him to block shots between the basket, but notice how his hand is already at the spot before the ball. This pairs perfectly with his walling up technique allowing him to suffocate offensive players' options. 
using his early hands and his length and verticality. It's also a critical technique for shot blockers, blocking a spot instead of trying to swat at a ball. And this allows Herb to protect the rim even against taller, bigger players or when he's at a disadvantage. The key technique here is using the inside arm to block the opponent's outside release, avoiding contact and fouls while also getting to the most predictable spot. This is the same concept used in chase down block attempts. But the thing that really jumps out the most about Herb Jones is his blocks on the perimeter. He gets more three point block shots than any player I can remember watching. These typically come in long closeout situations where the odds are already against him to take away the shot or contain the drive. And notice in the NBA, most defenses are trying to take away the three. So he might have a green light to do this and run them off the three point line. You should also notice he's typically guarding and closing out to great players and great shooters. Again, selling out to make a great player's day as tough as possible. No catch and shoot threes flying by to make sure he doesn't pick up a silly foul. But there's still even more nuance to these three point blocks because Herb is also acutely aware of the shot clock, getting several of these blocks knowing the shot has to go up anyway. But if you don't take the shot, then you have to put up with Herb Jones on ball defense. And we need to circle back to this topic because we didn't mention how active his hands are, utilizing every inch of that wingspan, always making passers uncomfortable. Here's a great example as the offensive player picks up their dribble and Herb immediately suffocates them with body and hand pressure. Now they get the pass off, but his defense doesn't stop there. He uses his wingspan once again to make a play at the pass. And trust me, you'll be surprised at how many offensive players are looking past their defenders or certain defenders and will throw the ball right into your hands, assuming you have active hands. And hopefully you've seen that in most of these clips, he gets the deflections by recovering with high early hands and by coming over aggressively in traps, ready to deflect any passes. And this is where we see the value of his hands again, with how many off-ball steals he's able to get. Now, of course, he gets some on-ball pickpockets and steals, but off the ball is where the herb magic is really seen. He uses his inside denial hand to get into passing lanes and deflect passes. This is an old school technique, but one Herb Jones has mastered, allowing him to quickly stab into passing lanes while remaining in position with vision of his man and a recovery angle should he miss the steal attempt. Utilizing the inside hand also allows him to be physical off the ball and still deflect passes and blow up handoffs. But if you really want to rack up off-ball steals, you need to understand the pattern of offenses and offensive players, when they're looking the pass and when they aren't. And one of the most predictable passes has become the one more or extra pass on a kickout. Herb Jones has recognized this trend and now takes full advantage of it, constantly jumping this extra pass on scrambles and rotations relying on what coaches have taught their offensive players and reaping the benefits from it. This is the true genius of Herb Jones, his anticipation and reaction. Put together with his on-ball activity, his length on the inside and on the perimeter, and so much more. We can clearly see why he's a first team all NBA defender and how he's quickly risen to be one of the league's best defenders right now. As always, I'm Coach Mike with Lockdown Defense. Keep up the hard work.